Welcome to County Office, your ultimate guide to local government services and public records. Let's get started. Do I have to pay taxes on workers' compensation settlement? Understanding the tax implications of a workers' compensation settlement is crucial. Workers' compensation provides benefits to employees injured on the job. These benefits cover medical expenses and lost wages. The Internal Revenue Service, IRS, has specific rules for taxing these settlements. Generally, workers' compensation benefits are not taxable. This means you typically do not pay federal or state income taxes on these benefits. However, there are exceptions. If you receive Social Security Disability Insurance, SSDI, or Supplemental Security Income, SSI, your workers' compensation benefits might be partially taxable. This occurs when your total benefits exceed a certain threshold. The taxable portion is usually the amount that reduces your Social Security benefits. This is known as the workers' compensation offset. For example, if your workers' compensation reduces your SSDI benefits, the reduced amount may be taxable. It is essential to consult with a tax professional to understand your specific situation. They can provide guidance based on your unique circumstances. Workers' compensation benefits for medical expenses are generally not taxable. This includes payments for hospital stays, surgeries, and other medical treatments. However, if you deduct these expenses on your tax return, you might need to include them as income. In summary, while workers' compensation benefits are generally not taxable, there are exceptions. Always consult with a tax professional for personalized advice. To learn more, check out these links, which you can click in the description below. And feel free to comment your questions. We're here to help. Thanks for tuning into our video. Please like and subscribe and leave a comment below. See you in the next video.